Rachel is my longtime well, friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Been doing sip and savor on Instagram. Yep. Yep. Nice little great photography. Love it. Mm -hmm. And you've been get, did co did COVID get you into zero proof or? Partly, <laughs> yeah. I was pretty bored and I wanted something different uh, to to drink and discovered through Donovan that there were other brands available and I just have been exploring that world for well over a year now. It's been really fun, expensive but fun. <laughs> <laughs> Once you start buying one or two brands, you want to try them all. I guess I should probably say who I am too. I've been sober since July 18, 2001. I'm an avid uh, enthusiast. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that you, you said I can come over here and like, yeah, explore your, your potion lab <laughs> with you. My obsession. It's pretty incredible. So today we're trying a little something, Nista, which means spark in Sweden. Sweden, okay. And this actually has some wormwood, which is going to be, wow, I think the only thing I know of that has wormwood is absinthe, right? Yes. Yeah. What Are they trying to go for some kind of a euphoric feeling or something here? Do we know? Not uh -huh. sure why okay. I included it. I mean, wormwood is good for digestion. Okay. It is good for inflammation. So it has really good medicinal properties to it. So maybe they were going that direction. They both have a lot of sugar in them. Okay. This one is better. This one would be more smoky, more oak and wood notes. All right. This one is different. <laughs> <laughs> And it is a different with intense experience. citrus notes, mm -hmm. the uh, dry, smoky with tones of warm spices and chocolate rye. It's chocolate rye, that's funny. This company has made a bitter that is completely 100% non-alcoholic. Nice. They use um, glycerin and apple cider vinegar, and then they put all of their extracts and flavor into that huh. and they have a handy dropper cool for one one dash mm -hmm. this one dropper as you can see i've been enjoying this one orange is delicious and one of the recipes calls for a dash of bitters and we're going to use all the bitter let's try it Whoa. It smells better. Wow. That. So this has a rhubarb. Wow. Yes. Rose water. Chamomile. Ginger and raisins. Juniper, oregano. A little bit of habanero, a little bit of bite in there. I really smell the anise. Yeah, the anise comes through really strong on its own. That is... Oregano, juniper. Very aromatic. Yeah. It's tasty. It's sweet. There's a lot of sugar in here. Mm -hmm. Per serving, there are six grams for every one and a half ounce. So, on the sweeter side, but tasty. Mm-hmm. You feel anything yet? <laughs> no, but it's it's kind of drink surprisingly drinkable. Yeah, just on its own, no ice. Yeah. Very easy to, to sip and enjoy. I like it. Their signature serve is with just serve it with ice and some lime and maybe some tonic water, so I right. will just add in a little bit of lime juice into mine. It 
It's interesting. Extracts made from vodka. Do you want a lime in yours? Sure. Right. And you can add a little bit more. Is it beverage? Uh -huh. So why do they have extracts made from vodka? That's a curious thing to have in a zero proof. Well, this is supposed to be a spirit alternative, so if you could want to have some of the same flavors mm. that you would find in a spirit, but it's not supposed to be any one specific spirit. It's not supposed to be gin or vodka, but they are using the same techniques to distill it, and the idea is you enjoy it in a cocktail. Cheers. This is Fever Tree Premium Club Soda. Mm-hmm. No sugar. Very tart. Mm. Yeah. I That's like tasty. That. It is. I like that. I definitely don't get in of any of the habanero. No. Once you put the lime in there, it takes that that spiciness away and leaves it more bitter. But that's refreshing. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Very citrusy. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like that. So, what got you into Nista? Uh, I was looking for another type of bourbon or um, whiskey alternative, and that's what turned me on to the barreled oak, because it mm -hmm. has that oakiness to it. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy this one. We're gonna try that one next. Um, and then I saw that Nista had wormwood, and I had no idea what that was about. So I thought, well, I'll just get them both and try them out. And together they make a really good old fashioned. It's oh. very tasty, but it's not your typical old fashioned. There's yeah. no heat to it, but the flavors are great. And why do they make an old fashioned? What is it about it that makes it? It's the bitterness okay. and the smoky oak as well comes through and just together they taste really interesting as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to try the other one? Sure. I'm try the barreled oak on its own. I know this is good. You can just keep sipping it. This one has the rhubarb, the beet syrup, dried spices and fruit. Kind of nice using beet syrup rather than sugar cane mm -hmm. for the. And you really smell the smoky mm. oak too. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. taste the smokiness. Yeah, I like that that flavor, and then you get a little bit of that heat as well. It's really good. That what do you think? Good. Should we ask? <laughs> Rob about mm -hmm. taping. Tape, oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like taping something. I don't know if you can hear it on there. We'll see. Okay. So this has also the rosemary right. and clove and cinnamon and a little bit of habanero. And you can taste the almond too. And mm -hmm. it looks like it has rye malt, mm -hmm. so this is not like gluten free. So Teresa. this one, yeah, this one's not gluten free. So the allergen in this one is almond, and this one is almond, and there's some gluten in here from the rye. I'm assuming. Mm. Oh, that's tasty though. It is. Mm -hmm. And for their signature, they want just with ice and soda and. A little bit of lime. So I'm gonna put on 
These cubes always amaze me. Um, been looking at getting the round cubes. And the rest of them. See if that changes it at all. Definitely seems like it would better with a little bit ice. That scales back the flavor, for mm. sure, the intensity. Mm -hmm. It mellows it out. Mm. That's tasty, though. It's almost soda-ish. Is that the raisin that I'm picking up? Yeah, it definitely yeah. is the sweetness from the, the raisin in there. I can feel heat in my... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the tonic or the, the soda water kind of opens up the flavors a little bit more, too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would drink that just like that. It's perfect. That's pretty funny at the back. This label is too small to go through how Swedish nature inspired us or to boast about the artisan craft techniques giving this multi-layered result. You simply have to Settle for saying that Nista is the first non-alcoholic spirit truly resembling a wine spirit. Mm. Let's drink to that. Yes, that's good. How did you find these guys? So I found them on Boison, B-O-I-S-S-O-N dot com. They are a bottle shop in New York City and they uh, have a lot of different brands that you can purchase. And I find the... The selection is really good. They ship pretty quickly. Uh, the price at Boison is $36. There are a couple of other online stores, the Zero Proof and the Mindful Drinking. Both of those stores um, don't have quite as large of a selection, but the price per bottle is $34 instead of $36, so save a couple bucks. Yeah. But, I mean, these are alternative spirits, and it takes a lot of... Uh, time and energy and money to make them so I think they're worth the, the price honestly they're really good how long ago did you buy these um about a month ago that's interesting it says mm -hmm. the best before and mm -hmm. it's got five so May 5 mm -hmm. 2022 mm -hmm. so about three months that's interesting you don't need there's no preservatives in them Oh, okay. There's no way, if, there's no, like, alcohol, ethanol is a natural yeah. preservative, which is why it lasts so long. With these natural spirits, you need to drink them within three months. It's for the best taste. You can keep them in your fridge longer than that, but I think the taste, the flavors start disappearing after a while. Okay. So that is the signature serve for barreled oak. That was delicious. And I am going to make... A cocktail now. I am going to do the ginger buck with the wormwood. So this will hopefully pump up the spiciness in the wormwood. Let's do the fancy one. Yeah, I love that you have these nice attention to detail, like the round so I put ginger in the shaker already. Okay. And I'm gonna... That's the ginger you made earlier. Mm-hmm, grated ginger. Wow, with... this could be really gingery. I hope so. I'm gonna mix that all up. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of all the bitter, this stuff is amazing. Your orange is very tasty. I'm doing two drinks in this shaker right now. And a little bit of lime. Uh, 
yeah. bitters, wormwood, ginger. This one is yours. Mm. Wow, that's some serious ginger. What kind of cherry is that? Maraschino. I mean, that's not <laughs> dyed in the normal. <laughs> Cheers. This is the ginger buck. Oh, Super like gingery, that. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And bitter. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I don't need any syrup. I know the recipe says you can add a little bit of syrup if you wanted to, but I don't need it. Hmm. I, I like it when it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as a big fan of ginger. Yeah, I definitely got orange peel still. It's good. Mm -hmm. Success. Nista, good job. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Sorry, cool little. <laughs> Metal toothpicky. Uh... <laughs> yep. Did you get this? Where'd you pick these up at? They were a gift. Hmm. You know what? When you mm -hmm. chew on the maraschino cherry, mm -hmm. it really mixes. In, it's interesting how it mixes with the ginger. Mm-hmm. Like a real marriage, you know, Jerry, not like a... Not like a fake one. Which one of these is your favorite? So oh, I'm always... I mean, I love a simple drink. Yeah. I love being able to just pour it, be done within a minute, like super easy, not have to think too much or get out a bunch of apparatus to make a drink, but you definitely get the benefit of more flavor, more interesting zing with the fresh ingredients and I I think it's worth it for serving at your dinner party or just making it for yourself something special for yourself yeah you know I'm I'm tasting this mm -hmm. comparing it with the wormwood which is the one that's a mm -hmm. bit more dry yes wormwood a little bit more bitter But I, and we put lime in here too. Hmm. I I think I like this one the most. With the ginger. Maybe because it's the ginger, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's tasty. Well, I will post some more oh. recipes. There are definitely a bunch I want to try out with these. The Mai Tai looks really tasty. The rhubarb for acidity. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Do you want to mix? We can mix the two of them together as well. Okay. Rhubarb for acidity. Mm -hmm. Oak for tannins. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the raisins for sweetness. Ginger, Vinland pepper, Vinland black pepper. The habanero for bite, the beet syrup for body. It's a flavor carrier because it's fantastic to smoke. What? Hmm? It says beet syrup for body as a flavor carrier and because it's fantastic to smoke. The combination birch and coffee woods we recommend. You don't smoke the beet syrup. What do they mean? That's curious. You'll have to ask them. <laughs> Wormwood for bitterness. Mm -hmm. 
lavage for celery taste. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of bitter in okay. there. This is both together. This is the old fashioned. Hmm. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> There's like a. It's bitter, but I like it. Yeah, you can really, there's something in there that's quite bitter. Mm -hmm. Can I throw the ice cube in? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it might be better with ice cubes. One more. Now, old fashions, I'm trying to remember back to my restaurant days. Those, they put um, an orange, a slice of orange. Mm -hmm. A slice of orange in here. Yeah, let's see what happens. I think they're actually going to twist, but let's just play and see what happens. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happened, but that kind of... Did that mellow it out a little yeah, bit? Mm -hmm. Took down the bitterness just a touch. Ooh. You like it better with the orange? Yeah, I really like that. Um, is that like a mini love? It's or like a mini tangerine. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... So out of all, all the ones that we tasted on its own, with soda, with ginger and soda, to mix together with citrus. Which one do you like the best? It's a, it's between the, the ginger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna, I like this more. Just a little bit more. I mean, they're both different. This is... Yeah, they're different. Mm -hmm. Definitely sweeter, but that tangerine, well, it's not a t It's a yeah. tiny mini That's mandarin, sweet. maybe it's a mandarin orange. It looks like a mandarin. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Very drinkable. Yeah, it is. Cool. Yeah, that's one of the fun things about this is just playing with the, mm -hmm. the combos and never knowing really what you're going to get. Yeah. Citrus changes it. Ginger is a strong flavor, but a very complimentary. You can still taste all of the aromatic herbs and spices in here. It's really nice. Now this... As the old fashioned did not have the bitters in it? It did. Okay. I put a little bit. Yeah, because usually an old fashioned has mm -hmm. like I know. mean, this is pretty bitter. Wormwood on its own is bitter mm -hmm. to me, so it just kind of boosts it a little bit more. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's very sippable. I think. Or guzzleable. Guzzleable. <laughs> just keep yeah. guzzling it down. I think that's why I like putting ginger in my drinks because then it slows me down. I won't just yeah. sip it really quickly, which is what you just did. <laughs> the spice and the bubbles slow you down just a little bit. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Post the links to where we can purchase it, and I recommend... It's tasty. Make yourself a cocktail. Very simple. Well, this was fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks Enjoying. for having me. Okay.